The ARC Quality Indicator software allows users to calculate QI rates based on their own administrative data using a standard desktop computer. The Windows version of the software, known as WinQI, was first released in 2005. It was created in order to provide an easy-to-use, low-cost option for calculating the QIs that was not dependent on licensed software, such as SAS. Version 5.0 was released in May 2015. The redesigned version of the WinQI software, version 6.0, based on WinQI version 5.0, was released in 2016. There are three important software announcements. First, the ICD-10 WinQI version 6.0 will not include risk adjustments because one full year of ICD-10 data is required in order to develop complete risk adjustment models. Second, the ICD-10 WinQI version 6.0 package will include all four modules in a single release in 2016. And finally, the ICD-9 WinQI software version 6.0 will be released by module incrementally throughout 2016. This tutorial will walk you through how to use the different features of the redesigned software. Features included in the tutorial are the home page users will see when no data has been imported, the process for importing the data file, the home page and menu that users will see when a data file has been imported into the WinQI database, the process for generating indicators, the different types of reports that can be created and the process for creating reports. This is the screen you will see when you first log into the WinQI software version 6.0. In order to calculate ARC quality indicators or to create reports, you first need to upload a data file containing your hospital's administrative discharge data. Please note that only text file types, comma-separated file types, Excel file types, or MS Access database file types are permitted to be uploaded into the WinQI software database. For help on input variables and their descriptions, please see the Software Instructions Guide, Appendix A, WinQI Input Data Dictionary. In order to upload the file, please navigate to the folder that contains the file. Select the file and then click the Upload and Continue button in order to continue with the import process. In this section of the tutorial, we will cover the process to import your data file into the WinQI software. The import process references the WinQI version 6.0. The import process is comprised of multiple steps starting from specifying your input file options all the way to loading the data into the WinQI database. The interim steps ensure that your file is readable and is not corrupted, allowing you to specify the data mapping of your input variables to corresponding QI variables, allowing you to specify the mapping of the values for the crosswalk variables, allowing you to see any data errors in your input file and to fix those errors prior to importing the data, and finally, allowing you to load the data into the WinQI database. Every step of the import process will indicate what step you are on in the header section of the screen. Every screen will also have the ability for you to see how you can contact QI support. From every screen, you can also access the online help guide. Accessing the online help from any screen brings up the help specific to the feature referenced on that screen. Please close the online help in order to return to the WinQI software. From any step of the import process, you can also exit by clicking on the Exit Wizard link. 
Please note that if you exit the import process, any selections you have made or any changes you have made will be lost. From any step in the import process, you can go to the previous step by clicking on the previous button or proceed to the next step by clicking on the next button. The first step after you have selected your input file and chosen to upload and continue is to specify the input file options. This screen is split into three sections. In the first section, you will indicate whether your data mapping is specified via a data mapping file and if you will be using a mapping file to specify your data mapping. You may browse to that file on your computer and select the file. If you do select a data mapping file, you may choose to skip all the interim validation steps and go directly to the data load step. You can select a mapping file if you have exported it via the WinQI application during a prior import process. You may also select the My Data is in an Unknown Format option. If you select this option, you will have the ability to perform the data mapping using the WinQI software import process. If you select the My Data is in an Unknown Format option, you may select the Edit Mapper Shortcut feature and provide the mapping of your input variables to QI variables. A default mapping will be indicated based on the names of your input variables in your data file. In order to improve the accuracy of the default mapping, please name your input variables as specified in the Software Instructions Guide WinQI Input Data Dictionary. The second section of the Input File option screen is to tell the WinQI software more about the data file. Specifically, do your data values have quotes that must be removed? Please make sure that this checkbox is checked if you have quotes in your data values. The second checkbox in this section is when you indicate to the WinQI software if your first row contains column headers. If you are importing a CSV file, it is recommended that you do include column headers as your first row to improve the accuracy of the QI calculation. The third section of the Input File option screen allows you to indicate if you will be using built-in limited APR DRG grouper provided by 3M, which is built into the WinQI software, or whether you will be loading the APR DRG values from the data file. Please know that this section will only appear if you have installed the version of WinQI software with Grouper. Some screens will also have section level help icons. If you click on these icons, the online help specific to that section will display. If you are satisfied that you have provided all of the options accurately to specify your input file options, you may proceed to the next step of the import process. In the next step of the import process, the WinQI software will read your input file to make sure that every row can be read and that every row has the same number of columns and that your file is not corrupted. If there is an error in this step of the process, it is likely a serious error and it is recommended that you exit the import process at this time, review your input file, fix any critical issues, and then re-import the file. If your file can be read successfully with no critical errors, you will see the 100% complete, your file is finished reading message. If you see this message, then you may proceed to the next step, which is step three, the data mapping step. Step three of the import process is the data mapping step. In this step, you specify the mapping of your input variables to corresponding QI variables. This screen is divided into three sections. In the first section, variables from your input file that are mapped to QI variables will be displayed. In the second section, all the QI variables that are presently unmapped to variables in your input file can be seen. The third section shows a sample view of your input file data, which is the first 50 records of your input file to aid you in mapping your input file variables to QI variables. As mentioned previously, the first section shows a mapping of input file variables that are currently mapped to corresponding QI variables. 
a default mapping would be performed by the WinQI software based on mapping you may have performed previously using the software or from the mapping that you specified in the Edit Mapper shortcut screen or simply based on the name of the input variable. In order to improve the accuracy of this default mapping, please name your input variables as specified in the Software Instructions Guide WinQI Input Data Dictionary. Please review all of the mappings to ensure they are accurate and correctly reflect the meaning of your input variable. In order to map a QI variable to an input variable, please drag the QI variable and drop it against the corresponding input variable. In order to unmap a QI variable from an input variable, if you think you have made a mistake, you can drag it back to the unmapped QI variable section. You may also find variables in the first section by typing in the name of the variable or part of the name and you will see all the variables that have that phrase in their name. The second section, as mentioned previously, shows all QI variables that are presently unmapped to variables in your input file. QI variables may be required, or recommended, or other. Other also means optional. You cannot proceed from this section unless all required QI variables are mapped to variables in your input file. While you can move forward from this screen without mapping recommended variables, since recommended variables impact quality indicator logic, it is recommended that you include these data elements in your input file and map them to the corresponding QI variables. The recommended attribute is a new feature that has been added in version 6.0 of the WinQI software. Once you are satisfied that your mapping is complete and correct, you may proceed with the next step in the import process. The next step in the import process is the Mapping Quick Check step. This step summarizes the information from your input data file so that you can see which QI variables are mapped to the variables in your input file and which are not. This screen will also help you see what impact unmapped variables in your file will have and if you wish to continue without mapping these variables, or if you wish to go back and edit your input file to include these variables and map them to QI variables prior to continuing. Unmapped recommended variables are especially called out since the QI analysis may not be accurate unless these data elements are included and mapped. This screen is divided into two tabs. The first tab is the Unmapped Recommended Variables tab. On this tab, all of the QI variables that are recommended and are not presently mapped to variables in your input file are listed. Along with each variable, you will also see the modules that are impacted by this variable and what indicators are impacted by this variable when you hover over the module name or when you click on the module name. You can also see if that variable impacts any indicator logic. That is, it is included in the technical specifications for the corresponding indicators and if it impacts risk adjustment. You may filter this list by specific modules. For example, if you were interested in checking what variables impacted IQI module, you can filter this list only by the IQI module. And you can see if the case of the data file we are using here, that the point of origin element which is recommended and currently unmapped impacts the IQI module. You can also see what specific indicators a particular variable impacts. For example, if you wanted to see if a certain variable impacted the IQI32 indicator, you can type the name of the indicator in the Find Indicators box and it will show you unmapped recommended variables that impact the IQI32 indicator. Please note that you must type the indicator name without spaces, so IQI32 is typed without a space. The second tab in the Mapping Quick Check screen is the All Variables tab. 
This will have a list of all QI variables and whether they are mapped to variable in your input file or if they are not mapped. Along with each variable, you can also see generally what module an indicator variable is used in. You may also export the unmapped recommended variables or all variables via the export link. If you're satisfied that you have mapped all of the variables for the calculations that you are interested in, you may proceed to the next step of the import process. The next step of the import process is the preparing for crosswalk step. In this step, the WinQI software is reading your input file as per the data mapping specified in the previous step. It is reading in the values for the crosswalk variables and also determining errors in the data values specified in the file. No input or action is expected from you on this step. When the software has completed reading your file and shows the 100% complete your data is finished being read message, you may proceed to the next step. The next step of the import process is the crosswalk step. In the crosswalk step, you can review and confirm the crosswalk of the values in your input file to the values used by the WinQI software for the variables admission source, admission type, discharge disposition, primary payer, race, and sex. Only those variables that are included in your data file and mapped to QI variables will be shown on the screen. For example, the header section of this file for this screen shows that four of those variables were included in your data file for a total of 25 crosswalk values. If the WinQI software is able to match a value to a corresponding QI value for the corresponding variable, it will perform that match where it is not able to match an input value to a corresponding QI value. It will either set it to missing, as in the case of the emission source field here, or it may set it to exclude from dataset, as in the case of the sex field here. Where set to exclude from dataset, those records will not be loaded into the QI database. They will be excluded from the QI analysis set. Where set to missing, those QI values will be considered missing for indicators that rely on this field. You may change the mapping that the WinQI software has set by default and set it to any other value that is understood by the software, or you may leave the mapping as is displayed in the default mapping. Along with the mapping of the input value to the QI value, the software also shows you the number of occurrences of each input value in your data file for the corresponding crosswalk variable. You may go to a variable directly by selecting it from the drop-down list of Jump to Variables. You can also see what values will be excluded from your data set by selecting this drop-down, Values will be excluded, and you will see what values will be set to missing by clicking on the drop-down, Values will be set to missing. So unless you change any of the mappings in the values will be set to missing or values will be excluded lists, those corresponding actions will be performed for those values for the corresponding variables. If you are satisfied that all of your mappings are per your expectations, you may also export your map settings for later use. This will export all of the mappings in the crosswalk section, the mappings in the data mapping section, as well as the values that you specified in the input file options section. This is a useful feature if you want to import a data mapping file in the future when importing subsequent data files. If the structure of the data files will match the structure of the file that you are presently importing, this will enable you to bypass all of the interim validation steps and jump directly to the data load step. So this is a useful time-saving tip. Please note that present on emission, or POA values, will be automatically mapped as follows. Y or W will be mapped to present and any other value, including a blank value, will be mapped to not present. You cannot change the POA mappings on this screen. However, POA values are extremely important for accurate processing of the quality indicators. 
If you need to change your POA values, you may go back to your data file and change the POA values as appropriate and re-import your data file. If you are satisfied with all of the mappings, you can then proceed to the next step in the import process. The next step following the crosswalk step is the data error step. In this step, the WinQI software displays errors that were encountered in your input file prior to loading the data into the WinQI database. This allows you to make a determination if you want to proceed with the data load at this time, or if you want to stop the import process, go back and fix the issues in your input file, and then re-import your data file. All the error messages are displayed in this list. There may be different levels of severity to the error. Along with column name where the error was encountered, the software also shows you how many records were affected by that error and the nature of the error message. Some of the errors may just be warnings or for informational purposes only. Along with each message, there is a display of what action, if any, the system will take when it loads the data into the database and the action that will be taken for this variable will be shown. Please be sure to review all of the error messages prior to moving forward with the data load step of the process. You may export all the error and warning messages using the export link at the bottom. If you choose to proceed with the load data step, then you may do so by clicking on the next button at the bottom of the screen. The final step in the import process is the load data step. In this step, the clean data will be loaded into the WinQI database. After the load process is completed, the WinQI software displays statistics about how many rows were loaded and if any were excluded. It also displays some statistics on each of the columns. For example, the number of rows that may be missing and percentage of records that are missing, including the minimum and maximum value if appropriate. The second tab on the screen is the Errors or Warnings tab, which shows you the errors in your data values. If you had followed all the steps in the import process via the Import Wizard, you would have seen these errors in the prior Data Error step. The majority of these errors would have been shown to you then. However, if you have chosen to go directly to Data Load from the Input File Options step, then this is the first time you will be seeing the error messages related to the errors in your data value. You may export these error messages. If you wish to do so, you may also export your data map settings as well as your clean data for further analysis. At this point, the data load process and the import process is complete. You may finish the process at this time and exit to the home page, or you may continue and move forward to generating indicators. Please note that this is a change in version 6.0 of the WinQI software. In previous versions, importing a data file automatically transitioned to generating indicators. In version 6.0, you may decide to return at a later time to generate indicators. Even if you do not generate indicators at this time, all the data you have imported will be saved in the database and you may safely finish and resume generating indicators at a later time. This section addresses the home page that will appear after you upload a data file into the WinQI database. Information about the data file uploaded into the WinQI database can be found in this section of the home page. You can see the name of the current data file, including the full path name of the data file, when it was uploaded, as well as how many records were uploaded. Upon uploading a data file, there are two primary actions that you will perform. The first action that you will perform is to generate indicators. Generating indicators calculates the QI rates for the selected modules. The second action that you can perform is to create reports for the generated indicators. Please note that you must generate indicators before creating reports. If you have not generated indicators for any of the modules, then you will not have the ability to create reports for any modules, and all the report options will be disabled. In this case, we have not generated indicators for any of the modules, so all the modules appear under the Generate Indicators section.
If we had generated indicators for any of the modules, then those modules would have appeared under the Create Reports section. Upon selecting one or more modules, the Generate Indicators button becomes enabled. Please note that a change in version 6.0 of the WinQI software is that you can generate indicators from different modules separately. In previous versions of the software, you were required to generate indicators for all modules together. You now have the flexibility to generate indicators for one or more modules as you desire. Other features available on the home page is the Data Options feature. In the Data Options feature, you can view the Data Load Summary, which you would also have viewed at the end of the Data Load step of the import process. You can also export the data that is saved into the WinQI database. You may also view the session log and save the session log from the View Session Log page. If you contact QI support for any issues you may be experiencing, please be sure to send the saved session log. You may also upload a new data file by accessing the Upload New Data button here. Uploading a new data file will follow the same import process that you performed when you first imported a data file into the WinQI software. Opening the left menu allows you to perform the same functions that you can perform from the main portion of the page. Please note that because you cannot create reports at this time, since no indicators have been generated for any of the modules, you do not have the Generate Report function enabled here. If you had generated indicators for one of the modules, then the Reports feature will also be available here. Similarly, if indicators have been generated for all of the modules, then the modules will not appear under the Generate Indicators section, and the Generate Indicators option will not be available in the left menu. Please note that from all pages of the WinQI application, you can obtain information for how to contact QI support in case of any issues or questions you may have with the software. You may also access the online help from any page of the software, which will bring up help specific to the feature that you are on. Under the Tools section of the home page, you can also access Program Options, Save QI Session Log from the home page, or Update Hospital Information. Please change the Program Options with care, since these are system-level options. This section of the tutorial covers the Generate Indicators process of the WinQI software. The Generate Indicators process performs all of the calculations for the quality indicators for the selected modules. Please note that there are changes in the Generate Indicators process in version 6.0 of the WinQI software. The first difference with version 6.0 is that you are not required to generate indicators immediately after importing a data file. In other words, you are not required to generate indicators as part of the import process. You can safely exit the application after importing the data file. The data will be saved in the WinQI database and you can return at a later time to generate indicators. The second difference in version 6.0 from previous versions is that you can now generate indicators for different modules separately. You can select one or more modules to generate indicators. In the past, you were required to generate indicators for all of the modules at the same time and did not have the flexibility to select the modules that you would like to generate indicators for. You can generate indicators in three ways. The first way occurs immediately after importing a data file. You can choose to generate indicators by selecting the Finish and Generate Indicators button on the Load Data page of the import process. The second way is from the home page that is displayed after importing a data file. You can generate indicators by selecting one or more modules that you would like to generate indicators for. The third place that you can access the Generate Indicators feature is the left menu of the home page under the Indicators Generate Indicators option. Please note that if you have already generated indicators for all of the modules, then no modules will appear under the Generate Indicators section, and all of the modules will appear under the Create Reports section. Similarly, if you have generated indicators for all of the modules, the Generate Indicators option will also not appear under the left menu. 
In order to generate indicators, you have to select one or more modules to generate indicators for. At that point, the Generate Indicators button becomes enabled. So, after selecting the modules, click the Generate Indicators button. The Generating Indicators page displays the progress as indicator calculations are being performed. Please know that this process may take a few minutes to several hours based upon the size of your data file and the number of modules that you selected. In order to save time, you can generate indicators for different modules separately. We are waiting for the indicator generation calculation to be completed for the sample input file that we are using for demonstration purposes. When the risk adjustment calculations are being performed, a secondary progress bar also displays. There is no input or action expected from you at this time. The secondary progress bar is shown only to let you know that the WinQI software is busy behind the scenes performing calculations and the nature of the calculations are displayed on the screen. Please do not exit the application at this time. Exiting the application at this time will discard all calculations performed thus far. Once the risk adjustment calculations are completed, the secondary progress bar disappears and further calculations are performed using the primary progress bar. When the Generate Indicators calculations are fully completed, you will see the 100% complete Your Indicators Are Finished Being Generated message. At this point, you can select the Next button to show a quick summary of the numerators, denominators, and the observed rates along with population rate for your currently loaded data. Please use this as a quick check to see if your data appears to have been loaded properly. The file name of the data file you have uploaded into the system as well as the number of records loaded into the database will also be shown. The summary of the numerators, denominators, and rates are separated into provider level indicators and area level indicators. You may save the summary or export this summary by using the Save Reports button. You may also export the data uploaded into the database via the Save Data button. At this time, you can continue with generating comprehensive reports by clicking on the Finish and Generate Reports button, or you can select the Done button and return to the home page. Please note that from any page in the Generate Indicators process, you can get information on contacting QI support and can also access the online help for the Generate Indicators process. This section of the tutorial covers the Create Reports feature of the WinQI software version 6.0. You can create reports from three places within the software. The first place is directly after generating indicators for one or more modules by accessing the Finish and Generate Reports button on the Quick Report screen that is shown after generating indicators. The second place you can create reports from is the Create Reports section of the home page that you see after importing a data file. The third place you can create reports from is via the Reports section under the left menu. Please note that there are three comprehensive reports that you can create from the home page. One is the area report, which shows calculated QI rates for the area level indicators. Two is the provider report, which shows calculated QI rates for the provider level indicators. And three is a patient report, which shows the view of individual cases flagged for each indicator. From the left menu of the software, you can also create a quick report, which shows the total numerator and, where applicable, the denominator and observed rate for each indicator. You can also view the last created area report or provider report via the View Saved Report feature. Please note that in order to create a report, you must first select one or more modules. Only those modules that you have generated indicators for will be available for creating reports. If you have not generated indicators for any module, then the Create Reports feature will not be available from the home page or from the left menu. If you have not selected any module, please note that none of the Create Reports buttons will be enabled. In order to create a patient report, you may select only one module from the list of available modules. 
If you select more than one module, then you cannot create a patient report. In order to create a patient report for different modules, you may select them one at a time. Once you have selected the desired module or modules, please select the report that you would like to create. The Create Provider Report, similar to the Create Area Report, is a multi-step process starting from selecting the indicators that you would like to create the report by, leading to viewing the report. The intern steps allow you to specify the criteria by which you would like to filter or limit the discharge records that are included in your report, specify the stratifiers or variables by which you would like to group the records in your report, to specify additional options for calculation of the rates or display of the records, the step that actually generates the report, and finally, viewing the created report. You can see what step you are on by viewing the title bar of the step and also the highlighted step. From any step of the create report process, you can also obtain information to contact QI support. You can also access the online help feature by accessing the help icon on any step of the Create Reports feature. Clicking the online help icon brings up the help specific to the screen or step that you are on. Please close the help screen to return to the WinQI software. You may also exit the report process by clicking on the Exit Wizard link. Please note that all the information and selections for your report will be lost if you exit the report process. You may proceed to the next step from any step in the process by clicking on the Next button, and similarly, you may proceed to the previous step by clicking on the Previous button where applicable. The first step in creating a provider report is to select the indicators that you would like to create the report for. The modules that you selected on the previous screen are shown here. If you wish to change the selected modules, you may do so by returning to the home page by using the Exit Wizard link. Please note that only provider level indicators are shown on the provider level report. Indicators are categorized by module, by condition, by demographic, and by procedure type. Please select the indicators per the category that is most helpful to you. You may also utilize the Deselect All and Specific Selection, or the Select All buttons as a time-saving tip. Once you have selected the indicators that you would like to create the provider report for, you may proceed to the next step by clicking on the Next button. For further information on this or other steps of the Create Provider process, please see the Software Instructions Guide. The next step of the Create Provider process is to select the filter criteria, in other words, the criteria by which you would like to limit discharge records that will be included in your report. Using the tabs on the screen, you can select Hospitals, Date Ranges, and Composite Measures to include in your report. Please note that the data used in the video has been created for demonstration purposes only and is not specific to any provider. The hospitals on the screen you see are grouped by state and then by hospital ID within that state. The state information is derived from the patient's state county field in your input data file. Only those states that are included in your data file are available in the drop-down list. You may position directly to hospitals within a specific state by selecting that state from the drop-down list. Hospitals where state information is not known are shown at the end grouped by hospital ID. You may select to include discharges with no state information or to not include them. You may also use the Clear All and the Select All links to help you as a quick way of selecting the desired hospitals. You may also filter your report output by selecting the date ranges for the discharge records that you would like to be included on your report. Date ranges are grouped by year and quarters of the discharges. Only those years and quarters that are included in your data file are shown on the screen. Along with each year and quarter is also displayed the number of discharges for that quarter and corresponding year. You may use the Clear All and Select All features for a quick way of deselecting or selecting the quarters that you would like included in your report. You may also filter your report output by selecting the composite indicators to include on your report. 
Composites are the weighted average of the smoothed rates calculated from the indicators on your report. Only the composite indicators that apply to the modules you have selected on previous screens will be shown on this screen. For example, in our demonstration, only composite indicators for IQI module and PSI module are shown. Please note that you have to have selected all the component indicators for the corresponding composite in order for the composite indicator to be shown on this screen and to calculate composites, you must select Smoothed Rates on the Additional option screen. Weights that apply to the corresponding component indicator are shown with POA and without POA. You may change these weights. However, please note that if you change the weight of a component indicator, then the calculated rate will no longer be endorsed. You may reset all custom values by clicking on the Reset All Custom Values button. Once you have selected the composite indicators you would like to be included on the report, you may proceed to the next step of the Create Provider Report by clicking on the Next button. The next step in creating a provider report is to select the stratifiers of variables that you would like to group your output by. The list of variables that are available to stratify your report output are shown here in the list on the right. Only provider level stratifiers are shown on the provider report and only those variables that are included in your data file and mapped to QI variables are available to you for stratification. Variables that are not included in your data file or mapped to QI variables are not available to you for stratifying your report output and are shown at the bottom of the list. In order to select a variable to stratify your report output, please click on it, drag it, and drop it in the box on the left. You may select more than one variable to stratify your report output. Please make sure that the selected stratifiers are included in the order in which you would wish to group and sort your report output. You may change the order of the stratifiers. You may deselect a selected stratifier by dragging it from the selected stratifiers list back to the available stratifiers list and dropping it in that list. If you have run this report previously, you may see that the stratifiers you have used previously will appear on this screen when you first come to the screen. If you are satisfied that you have selected all of the stratifiers you wish to group your report output by, you may proceed to the next step by clicking on the Next button. Please note that, if applicable, the software also shows how many distinct values you have per stratifier variable. The next step in creating a provider report is to select or change additional options for how you would like your report to be calculated or displayed. You may modify the report title as appropriate. You may select the rates that you would like to be included on your report. You may also check if you wish to exclude results based on too few patients. You may select whether to display FIPS codes or names. You may also select the scale that rates are reported in. You may select whether to display indicators as rows or columns and whether to include the title in the exported file and whether to show names of indicators. Applying only to area report, you can select the population to be included in the denominator and whether risk adjustment includes adjustment for socioeconomic status. To obtain further information on any of the sections, you can access the online help icon next to each of the section headers. The help icon positions you on the help that applies to that specific section. Please be sure to close the online help file in order to return to the WinQI software. Once you have selected additional options for data analysis or display as appropriate, you may proceed to the next step of the report creation process. In this step, WinQI is preparing your report in the database. The status of the report as it is being created will be displayed in these columns on the left. Once the report is completed, you will see the 100% complete, your report is now finished generating, you may proceed to view the report message. In order to view the report, please press the Next button. 
The final step in creating a provider report is to view report. The view report step shows you a summary of the report per your selected criteria. The report title you provided in the additional options screen is shown. The data file that forms the source data for this report is displayed. Your scaling criteria is shown as well as the created date and time and the rows that are in this report. You may select how many rows are displayed on the page from the Rows per Page drop-down. All of the columns that you selected on the Additional Options screen are displayed on the report. For additional description of these columns, you may select the Online Help or see the Software Instructions Guide. You may navigate to different pages of this report. You may export this report for later use. Just navigate to the desired folder, provide the file name, and click OK. Please note that if you had selected stratifiers on the Select Stratifier screen, then your report output will be grouped by the selected stratifiers. In this example, we had selected the year and quarter as the stratifiers to group our report output by. If you had selected composite indicators on the Select Indicator screen and the Smoothed Rate checkbox on the Additional Options screen, then you will have the Composite Report button shown on the Report Summary screen. Clicking the Composite Report button will show you the composite rate or ratios for corresponding composite indicators per your selected criteria. Only those indicators that you had selected on the Select Indicator screen will be shown on this report. You may export this report for later use. The Composite Rate or Ratio column is the primary number you are looking for. Additional columns are also available and further defined on the Online Help or Software Instructions Guide. Closing the composite report will return you to the Provider Summary Report. You can drill down on the Observed Numerator or Observed Denominator columns of any given record to see the discharge level records that comprise that numerator or denominator value. For example, we see that IQI 23 for the year 2014 and quarter 2 has 54 records in the observed numerator. Drilling down on this number will bring up the 54 records that were flagged for that indicator and numerator value. Also, these records relate to the selected stratifiers, year 2014 and quarter 2 and all of the filter criteria that were selected on the previous screen. You may further drill down on the Row in File column to see the Case Details report, which shows why a particular case was or was not flagged for a particular indicator. You may save the Case Details report. On the Case Details report, you may click on one of these highlighted blue links to see the ICD-9 CM codes and MSDRG codes that are used in the indicator definition for that set. Closing these reports will return you to the patient level report and closing the patient level report will bring you back to the provider summary report. If we drill down from the Observed Denominator column, then you will see that this now fetches the 67 records that apply to the corresponding denominator value. Drilling down from the Provider Level Report or the Area Level Report to view the corresponding cases is a new feature that has been added in version 6.0 of the WinQI software. When you are done viewing the Provider Report, you may click the Done button, which will take you to the home page of the WinQI software. Let us now review the Create Area Report feature of the WinQI 6.0 software. There are many similarities between the Create Area Report and Create Provider Report features. Therefore, we will only review the distinctions between the Area Report and Provider Report features. For further details, please review the tutorial on the Provider Report feature. In order to create an Area Report, you have to first select one or more modules for the report just as you would if you were creating a provider report. Upon selecting the desired modules, please click on the Create Area Report button. 
The first step in creating the area report after selecting the modules is to select the indicators you desire to include on your report. This screen is similar to the provider report screen except that only area level indicators are shown on the area report screen. An additional distinction between the area report and the provider report on the screen is the composites tab. The provider report did not have the composites tab on the select indicator screen but had the composites tab on the select filter criteria screen. The Composites tab on the Area Report shows you area-level composite indicators. You may have to choose to select or deselect the composite indicators for inclusion in your report. Please note that the Composites tab only appears if the corresponding module, for example the PQI module in this case, was selected by you on the previous page. The next step in creating an area report is to select or modify the filter criteria for your report. There are a few differences in the filter criteria screen between an area report and the provider report. The provider report had a hospitals tab on the select filter criteria screen, but the hospitals tab does not apply to the area level report and hence is not included on the area level report modify filter criteria screen. The Provider Report also had a Composites tab on the Select Filter Criteria screen, but since Composites are already included on the Select Indicator screen, they are not included on the Select Filter Criteria screen. The only criteria by which you can filter your area level report is the date ranges. Limiting the discharge records by selecting the appropriate year or quarter is similar to the Provider Level Report. Two additional fields that are available on the area level report are the numerator and the denominator values per year in your data file. The numerator is a count of all flagged discharges for the corresponding year, and the denominator has a default value which is the population from the corresponding year. You may change the default denominator value. For a definition and description of each of the drop-down values in the Denominators field, please review the online help guide or the software instructions document. The next step in creating an area level report is to select stratifiers to group your report output by. The functionality of the screen is mostly similar to the functionality of the select stratifier screen on the provider level report. One difference is that there are some different stratifiers available for the area level report. For the detailed description of the stratifiers, please see the online help guide or the software instructions document. Please note that we did not select any stratifiers for this demonstration report. Following the Select Stratifiers screen and proceeding to the next screen is the Additional Options screen. This screen is similar to the feature on the Provider Level Report. Proceeding from the Additional Options screen is the actual creation of the report. This screen is also similar to the Create Report screen on the Provider Report. Once the report creation is completed, you may proceed to viewing the report by clicking the Next button. This report is also similar to the Provider Level Report, and the details have been explained in the tutorial for the Provider Level Report. One difference between Area Level Report and Provider Level Report is that you cannot drill down from the Observed Denominator column on the Area Level Report, since Discharge Level Data is not available for the Area Level Report since this applies to the population of a geographic area and not to the data file uploaded by the user. You can, however, drill down from the Observed Numerator column to get the corresponding discharge level records for that numerator. Another difference between the Provider Report and the Area Report is that on the Area Report, you will not see a Composite Report button on the Report Summary screen. Instead, the Area Level Composite indicators, if applicable, will appear within the body of the main report. Please note that since we did not stratify by any variables, there are no stratifier columns included on the report. Let us now review the Create Patient Report feature of the WinQI software version 6.0. As mentioned previously for other reports, there are three places that you can run the patient report from. 
The first is from the Create Report section of the home page. The second is directly after generating indicators for a module. And the third is from the left menu of the home page. In order to create a report, you have to first select one or more modules. To create a patient report, you can select one and only one module. Upon selecting the desired module, please press the Create Patient Report button. In the Patient Level Report, you can view individual cases flagged for each indicator. The data file that forms the source data for this report is also shown. The module that you selected on the home page or other screen coming into the patient level report is first selected on this report. You can change the selected module by clicking on the module drop-down. Please note that only those modules that you have generated indicators for will be available in the module drop-down list. Corresponding to each module are all of the indicators that apply to that module. With each indicator, the observed numerator and denominator values are also shown. The rows per page are set and can be changed to a different value. There are three possible data sets that can be viewed with each indicator. One is the population at risk, which is the denominator value. Two is the outcome of interest, which is the numerator value and three is all discharges. Let us change an indicator from the drop-down list. And let us also change the display set from population at risk or denominator to outcome of interest. You can also select the show exclusions column. This shows the records that are outcome of interest before exclusion or the numerator before exclusion. You can drill down from the row and file column to see the case details as to why this case was flagged or not flagged for inclusion. You can further drill down on the blue links to see the ICD-9-CM codes or the MSDRG codes that apply to the indicator set. Closing the report, as previously mentioned, will return you to the patient level report. You may save or export the report for later use. Just navigate to the appropriate folder, type in the file name, and click OK.